going to begin our morning worship service. with word of silent prayer. I want to ask if you would, if you would bow your heads with us at this time. Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank all of those who are here. We want to remind you of our uh, before we get into our service of our Kroger's Rewards Program, thank you to all uh, the households that participate in our Kroger Community Rewards Program. Every time you use your Kroger's Plus card, reward automatically goes to a nonprofit agency. And thank you for choosing us. It's easy to enroll or re-enroll uh, by just visit. Uh, www.krogercommunityrewards.com click to enroll our goal is to have at least 10 households participating instructions on how to enroll are at the Usher's desk the only change is our organization number for the North Wheeling Community Youth Center is now UV374 please contact the office if you need help please invite your family and friends to enroll as well. Our new members class, uh, there'll be no new members class this Monday, uh, May 25th due to the holiday, but our new members class will continue to be on telephone line or Zoom on Mondays at 7 p.m. If you recently come to the church, been baptized, received the Holy Ghost, or just want to know how more about the ministry or how to get closer to God, please join our new members class. Next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday, May 31st. Uh, we're encouraging everyone that can to wear white. We'll also be uh, receiving our Pentecost offering. Those who are able of uh, $50, do whatever is best that you can do. And please give your best seed offering and you'll be blessed in your giving. We're asking those who do come, if they would come early on that day so that we can spend some time in prayer before morning worship, I'm asking you to come at 10 a.m. Be a part of a special prayer, Pentecost prayer, on Pentecost Sunday. And then uh, we want to remind you that a few weeks ago, the Dream Center experienced a flood when a sprinkler hits on the top floor, exploded, and the water ran through the building. Uh, we're negotiating with the insurance company and working uh, with the Panhandle Cleaning. Uh, please pray for the ultimate success of this venture and that today is part two of our relaunch Sunday Bethlehem Temple relaunched on last Sunday and we're praying for the relaunch of Shiloh today Sunday school will remain virtual at this time for both churches Bible class will remain virtual in-person Bible classes at Bethlehem Temple will begin on June 3rd and on Shiloh on June 9th we pray that you would keep these announcements in mind. Are there any prayer requests this morning? Yes, sir. All right, we want to pray for Brother William's mother. Yes, Sister Julie. All right, God is able. God is able. Yes, good to see you. Amen. Amen. I totally agree. Any other prayer requests? Yes. Did you say Carolyn Kenny? Oh. All right. Are there any other prayer requests? Yes, Mother Rancher. Amen. Amen. Are there any other prayer requests? If not, uh, we're going to go before the throne of God singing uh, hymn number 
328, uh, be not dismayed, whatever be tied, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. Afterwards, we're going to ask that you would, uh, when we get to the last verse, that you would stand and remain standing. And uh, uh, we'll have prayer. Then afterwards, we'll have our scripture reading. And we're going to ask Sister uh, Peyton if she would come and read Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 6. And that we would all read it with her in unison. So Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 6. Be not dismayed, whatever be tied, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. Well, God will take care of you. Through every day or all the way, he will take care of God will take care of you. Verse 2, through days of toil with heart doth fail. God will take care of you. When dangers pierce your path assail, God will take care of you. Well, it's God will take care of you through every day, through every day. Or all the way, or all the way. He will, he will take care of you. God will take care of you. The last verse, let us all stand. No matter what may be the test. God will take care of you. Lean weary one upon his breast. God will take care of you. All together, God will. God will take care of you through every day, through every or all the way or all. He will, he, he will take care of you. God will take care of you. One last time. God will take care of you through every day, through every day, or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. Let every heart pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, again, we thank you for allowing us to be in your house. We thank you for those who are watching virtually or those who are listening virtually. We pray right now, Lord God, that you would intercede, Lord God. Let your presence be felt in this place, Lord God. We love you. We need you, Lord. Lord, you've heard all the prayer requests, Lord God, each and every one, and you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can even ask or think. Lord God, we pray right now, Lord God, we just... 
bind sickness and disease, Lord God. Lord God, we claim your word, Psalms 91. Thousand may fall at our side, 10,000 at our right hand, but it will not come nigh our dwelling, Lord God. Lord God, those who are dealing with headaches and cancer and sickness, Lord, those who have operations today, Lord God. Lord God, we pray that you be with them right now, Lord God. Oh God, hey, we know that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can even ask or think. Show your power in this place, Lord God. Oh God, we pray right now, Lord God, for our world, Lord, our community, Lord God. Oh God, we pray, Lord God, for our leaders, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for our health care workers and our first responders, Lord. We pray for our parents and our children, Lord God. Move in a mighty way, Lord God. Defeat the plan of the devil, Lord. Give victory that can only come through you, Lord God. We put it in your hands, Lord God. We expect to receive from you, Lord. We call those things that are not as though they already are, Lord God. We put Satan on our feet. We plead the blood. The blood still works. The blood of Jesus Christ still works. We claim it right now. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. As it you remain standing for our scripture reading, it's going to come out of the book of Acts, the second chapter, verses 1 through 6. Acts chapter 2. All right, you can do that for me. Thank you. Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 6, prayer for, uh, we're going to ask if you would read with her the prayer for the pastor. And family should be found on page one of your bulletin. Hopefully you've received a bulletin. If not, they will provide you with one. We do ask that you would take the bulletin uh, with you uh, once you've had it uh, and that we don't leave it so that uh, it becomes yours. Uh, that is found on page one of your bulletin. Then in scripture in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 6. I'm not sure that they can put it up on the screen. They're trying to work on the screen. But Acts chapter 2, 1 through 6. All right, let's receive Sister Peyton with hearty praise the Lord. Praise Not working. Let's read the prayer for the pastor. Lord, by your Holy Spirit, anoint Pastor Cummings to preach and bring apostolic results. As my pastor speaks the word, let signs and wonders follow, confirming it. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be set free. Anoint Pastor Cummings with the truth. Let people be cut to the heart and accept Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And, Amen. and we're going to sing, uh, sing. We're going to read Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 6 in your Bibles together. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. May the Lord bless the reading of his blessed word. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. I'm going to ask right now that you receive Sister Faith uh, Payton, uh, who will lead us in our praises. Uh, she will sing two songs at this time. I pray that you join with her. Let's greet her with a hearty praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glad to see everybody here today. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells, joy bells. in my soul hallelujah keeps ringing in my soul hallelujah keeps ringing hallelujah keeps ringing hallelujah keeps ringing in my soul oh yes and thank you jesus keeps ringing in my soul thank you jesus keeps ringing 
ringing in my soul. Thank you, Jesus, keeps ringing. Thank you, Jesus, keeps ringing. Thank you, Jesus, keeps ringing in my soul. Oh, yes, this joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells, joy bells, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Hallelujah keeps ringing in my soul. in my soul joy bells keep ringing in my soul joy bells joy bells joy bells keep ringing in my in my soul joy bells keep ringing in my soul joy bells joy bells joy bells keep ringing in my soul hallelujah hallelujah joy bells keep ringing in my soul, we thank God. We're going to ask Sister Faith to come back with her final selection in just a few minutes. This is the time that we would normally receive time for sharing and blessings and offering. 
we're not going to do that. Uh, we have not received an offering since March 15th. Uh, and uh, at the conclusion of today's service, if you should choose to give and believe that there's a blessing in giving, we do want you to know that there are envelopes in the back and uh, ushers will be happy to provide you with one if you raise your hand and if you would just at your own time uh, be come to and put it in the ties box and that will be the way that we'll have to give for the foreseen future so that we don't create crowds in the uh, aisle or at the altar uh, until a foreseeable time uh, we are uh, operating uh, uh, in our social distancing guidelines and uh, that means that you can come at your own time if you choose to give and we do hope that uh, God lays upon your heart that you will uh, definitely the church <clears throat> has uh, uh, suffered some loss uh, in that uh, our regular offerings that you can see in your bulletin uh, what they have gone down to we're not reaching any of our our goals but by faith God is gonna make a way anyway and uh, we're going to come out because it's God's vision and God always provides for his church. Can you say amen? Amen. God bless you and good to see those of you who are here, those of you uh, who are listening by uh, way of the telephone line, those who are uh, watching virtually. Uh, of course, be it ever so uh, uh, humble, there's no place like home. We're going to ask now Sister Faith to come back with her last selection and afterwards we'll have prayer for the radio broadcast. And we'll begin our radio broadcast. Let's greet now Sister Faith, who has been singing every week, uh, just about. Uh, uh, and we thank God for her sacrifice. I know God won't forget her labor of love. We thank God for all of those who've been working cameras or radios or those who've been singing in background. Uh, whatever you've been doing, uh, those of you who have been mailing your offerings or mailing your tithes, mailing whatever, they're giving it electronically, however you've done to keep the ministry going, amen. We know that what the devil meant for evil, God's going to use for our good. Can you say amen? Amen. Let's greet now, Sister Faith, with a hearty praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> There is a sound that is pleasing to his ears. The sound of praises lifted into the atmosphere. Every time you lift your voice, you need to know. Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. There is a sound that is pleasing to his ears. The sound of praises lifted into the atmosphere. Every time you lift your voice, you need to know Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise a sweet symphony a heart's melody a song of praise to hear is music to his ears jesus loves to hear the sound of praise Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. A sweet symphony, a heart's melody, a song of praise to hear 
is music to his ears. Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. Hallelujah, the sound he loves to hear. 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 Lord, I love you, the sound he loves to hear. Lord, I love you, the sound he loves to hear but i love you the sound he loves to hear lord i love you the sound he loves to hear i adore you the sound he loves to hear I adore you, the sound he loves to hear. Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. Jesus loves to hear the sound of of praise. Man, can we all say amen? Thank you again, Sister Faith, for that wonderful selection. I'm going to ask if you would, if you would bow your heads with us as we pray for this broadcast. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the radio and television broadcast is about ready to go out. We pray right now, Lord God, that you bless the hearers and the viewers thereof. Lord God, let something be said that will be cause them to have a closer walk with you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. One Lord and one faith and one. Everybody, there's one Lord and one faith and one baptism. I know there's one Lord and one faith and one. That is Jesus is my all. Thank God for one Lord and one faith and one baptism. Everybody there's one Lord and one faith and one baptism. I know there's one Lord and one faith and one baptism. And I'll tell it and I'll tell it everywhere. I'm going to tell it. Tell it. Everywhere I go, I'm going to tell it, tell it. Everywhere I go, I'm going to tell it, tell it. Everywhere I go, I'm going to tell it. Everywhere I go, His name is Jesus, Jesus. Everywhere I go, His name is Jesus, Jesus. Everywhere I go, His name is Jesus. Jesus, everywhere I go, his name is Jesus, everywhere I go. Greetings and welcome to another call for excellence ministry. And we invite you to stay tuned for the next 28 minutes and allow God to speak to your very soul. Welcome to this Boys and Wonders production emanating from Bethlehem Apostolic Temple located at 330 North Main Street in Wheeling, West Virginia and co-sponsored by Shiloh Apostolic Faith Assembly located at 3000 Weir Avenue in Weirton, West Virginia. These are the churches where the praises are going up and the blessings are coming down. We welcome you to join us each week. Our order of service is as follows. Right now we are having joint 
Bible class and joint Sunday school. We have those in Wheeling. We begin every Sunday with our Christian education classes at 9 a.m. Our morning worship service begins at 10.30 a.m. In Weirton, our Christian education classes at this time are joint with Bethlehem Temple at 9 a.m. They can be seen virtually either on our Facebook page or on uh, listen on our church conference call line. Our morning worship in Weirton begins at 12.30 p.m. We ask that you join us for our midweek Bible class where our pastor, District Elder D.W. Cummings, is giving an inspiring lesson from the Word of God in Weirton and in Wheeling. We are having a joint Bible class and it's done virtually at this time and it's on Wednesdays at 7.25 p.m. Come with your Bible question and receive your Bible answer. Or you may listen to our Voice in the Wilderness broadcast on www. UVA 1170 AM or you can also view it or hear it on our news radio 1170.iheart.com on the internet all over the world that's every Sunday at 9 30 a.m. and 6 30 p.m. for more information on both ministries you can visit our website at www.greaterloveministries.com West Virginia WV dot org. Remember, you can also download our ministries app for your iPhones and Android phones by going to your app store and searching Greater Love International. Special announcements is that we want you uh, to know that on next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday, uh, May 31st. We're going to celebrate what happened on Pentecost. We've asked as many as can, those of you that will. If you're able uh, to wear white on that day, if you're not able to wear white on that day, that's all right. You're still welcome. We will be observing social distancing guidelines and we'll be having a special Pentecost offering. Amen. And this $50 offering will go towards our COVID uh, 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 rescue operations that we're doing to feed the hungry uh, and things of that nature. We also want to know we'll have a special Pentecost message. We're relaunching both our churches, both campuses, Bethlehem Temple relaunched on last Sunday. Shiloh is relaunching today, but our Sunday school will remain virtual and our Bible class will remain virtual at this time. Also want you to know it's hard to believe it, but it's almost here. Our 40th anniversary of pastoring will take place in the month of June, June 23rd through Friday, June 26th. We will have in-person services on Sunday morning only, but during the week will be virtual only, and we're looking for God to bless in a mighty way. Please keep these announcements in mind. Our thought for the week is this. There is no substitute for hard work. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will serve before kings. He will not serve before obscure men. Proverbs 22, 29. Bethlehem Temple, Shiloh, where we are proclaiming the year of the devil. See it, believe it, it's yours. I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Isaiah 61 says, for your shame, you shall have double. Now we're going to ask if you would, uh, those of you that will, if you would stand as we are going into the word of God. And we want to take this time to, to recite our apostolic affirmation and the furtherance of these services. Would you give God a hand praise just for being in the house one more time? Those of you that will, if you would uh, repeat after me and say, one Lord, one, Lord. one faith, one and one baptism. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power. Somebody help me say power. To save those that believe, and I believe that Jesus saves and his blood washes whiter than snow. Amen. I'm going to ask as many of you will, if you would turn with me to the book of St. John, the sixth chapter. We're going to just read one verse, St. John 6. And verse 11. If you 
have it. It says, if you read it with me, verse 11, and Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. Can you say amen? Amen. I want to speak to you for a few moments uh, from the subject, uh, the uh, the seven steps to answer prayer. Seven steps to answer prayer. And I'd like to use for a subtopic from breakdown to breakthrough. Somebody say amen. Amen. You can't touch anybody, but look towards somebody's direction and say, go from breakdown to break through. Amen. I'm going to ask as many of you as will, if you would uh, lift up your Bible and say this affirmation with me. Say, this is my Bible. I can have what it says I can have. I can do what it says I can do. Every promise in the word of God can come true in my life. Today, I will receive revelation knowledge, revelation understanding, and my life will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. We want to go before the throne of God saying we're standing on holy ground. And I know that there are angels all around. So let's just praise Jesus now. For we're standing in his presence on holy ground. Then afterwards we're going to ask the Evangelist Christian if she would lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. We're going to believe God for miracles. How many believe that God still does miracles? Amen. He's done a miracle in your life just by you being here somebody say amen amen and we're going to believe that he's not through with the miracles that he's doing for you and for me we are standing on holy ground and i know and i know where are they so let's just praise, let's just pray, Jesus now. Jesus now. We are, for we are standing in His presence on holy ground. One more time, we are standing, we are standing on holy ground. And I know, and I know, where are they, church? Let's just praise Jesus now. For we're standing on holy ground. Let every heart pray. Lord Jesus, as we come before you, we lift you up. We magnify you, Lord. You are our creator. Oh, God, you are our healer. Salvation is in your name, Lord. All power is in your name, Lord. Oh, God, we love you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We need you, Lord. I ask you to rain down upon us, Lord. Oh, God, we need a move of your spirit, Lord. Oh, God, we could do nothing without you, Lord. I ask you to move in a mighty way, Lord. Rain, oh God, on your people, Lord, on our, your churches, Lord. I ask you to move on the backslider, Lord. Bring them back before it's everlasting too late, oh God. Oh God, we're looking to you, Lord. You're the author, you're the finisher of our faith, Lord. I ask you to move, oh God. Fill our churches, oh God. Oh, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind, oh God. Move in a mighty way, Lord. Oh God. God, let this broadcast go forth, Lord. Oh, God, let souls be baptized in the Holy Spirit as they are in their living rooms, Lord. Oh, God, let those that need a healing, Lord, be healed this day, Lord. Oh, God, we're looking to you, Lord. We believe in you, Lord. We'll give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody give God some praise right now. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. You may be seated. God bless you. Coming down, down, down. Coming down, down, down. Well, the glory of the Lord, Lord is coming down. Is 
coming down when the saints began to pray for the Lord to have his way then the it's coming down, down, down. It's coming down, down, down. Well, the glory of the Lord is coming down. It's coming down. When, when the, the saints, saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way, then the glory of the Lord is coming down. It's coming down, down, down. It's coming down, down, down. Well, the glory of the Lord is it's coming down when the saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way. Then the glory, oh, then the glory, oh, yes, the glory. One more time. I know the glory of the Lord is, amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's in the book of St. John, the sixth chapter, verse 11. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. Seven steps to answered prayer. Going from breakdown to breakthrough. Raise your hand and say, send your word, Lord. Uh, there was a drunk man that got on the bus, and when he got on the bus, he happened to sit next to a lady with a Bible on her lap who had just came from church, and she told him, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going straight to hell, and the man jumped up out of his seat, ran down the aisle on the bus, said, let me off, let me off, I got on the wrong bus again. I want you to understand God wants to get us on the right bus. Somebody say amen. And we've got to refuse to be a part of a whirlpool of worry. Uh, the devil in this special time is trying to make us worry with fear. I want to encourage somebody to stop worrying and start meditating on the word of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. You see, worry is nothing but meditation on things that torment you. Uh, and whether you realize it or not, the Bible says it is a sin. Uh, worry, 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 not giants, uh, kept the Israelites out of the promised land. Uh, but I want to encourage everyone under the sound of my voice uh, to refuse uh, to let worry destroy you or clap your hand and shout hallelujah. Uh, that's why he said in Psalms 138 and verse 7, uh, though I walk in the midst of of trouble, uh, thou will revive me. Uh, thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of my enemies, uh, and thy right hand shall save me. Uh, I want to tell somebody, no matter what you're going through, if you've got God on your side, uh, his right hand will save you. If you believe it, put your hands together and shout hallelujah. One Sunday morning, two little girls, ages four and six, were leaving church with their parents. Uh, the six-year-old was deep in thought about the story of the loaves and the fishes that she had just heard. Uh, and Jesus had fed a great crowd of hungry people with a couple of fishes and a little bit of bread. Uh, awesome, the four-year-old thought. Uh, and she began to sing that old nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Uh, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Uh, all the king's horses and all the king's men uh, couldn't put Humpty together again. Uh, 
whereupon the six-year-old seemed to have a revelation uh, and said triumphantly, uh, Jesus could. Uh, what, did they, what do you mean, they said. Uh, they said, with, she said, with Jesus' help, uh, maybe the king's men could have put Humpty Dumpty together again. Uh, because with Jesus' help, we can do anything. Somebody say amen. Uh, I want you to know God has a thousand ways uh, where I cannot see not one. Uh, when all my means have reached their end, uh, his has just begun. Uh, so in my distress, uh, the Bible says I cried to the Lord uh, that he may answer me. Uh, the Psalms went on to say in Psalms 120 uh, and verse 1, uh, I lift up mine eyes to the hills uh, from which cometh my help. Uh, my help, somebody holler my help, uh, comes from the Lord uh, who made heaven and earth. Uh, you got to know where your help comes from. Uh, thank God for the government. Uh, thank God for doctors and lawyers. Uh, thank God for family and friends. Uh, but ultimately, all of my help uh, comes from the Lord. Uh, for if it had not been the Lord uh, that was on my side, uh, the enemy would have destroyed me. Uh, but somebody say, thank God for Jesus. Uh, he is all of my help. Somebody give him a praise right now for helping you even when you didn't know you needed some help. Uh, oh yes, the story is told of a, a bricklayer uh, who had tried to move about 500 pounds of bricks uh, from the top of a four-story building uh, to a sidewalk below. Uh, the problem was uh, he tried to do it alone. Uh, in his own words, taken from the insurance claim that he filed, uh, it said it would have taken too long uh, to carry the bricks down by hand. Uh, so I decided to put them in a barrel and lower them by a pulley which I had fastened to the top of the building. Uh, after tying the rope securely at the ground level, uh, I then went up to the top of the building. Uh, I fastened the rope around the barrel, uh, loaded it with the bricks, and swung it out over the sidewalk for the descent. Uh, then I went down to the sidewalk, uh, untied the rope, uh, holding it securely uh, to guide the barrel down slowly. Uh, but what I had forgot about uh, is that I only weigh 140 pounds. Uh, the bricks weighed 500 pounds. Uh, so when I untied it, uh, it jerked me up the, off the ground so fast uh, I didn't even think of letting go of the rope. Uh, and as I passed between the second and the third floors, uh, I met the barrel coming down. Uh, this accounts for the bruises and lacerations on my upper body. Uh, I held tightly to the rope until I reached the top uh, where my hand became jammed in the pulley. Uh, this accounts for my broken thumb. Uh, at the same time, however, uh, the barrel hit the ground uh, with a bang and the bottom fell out. Uh, 
with the weight of the bricks gone, uh, the barrel weighed only about 40 pounds. Uh, thus, my 140-pound body uh, began to shift in descent. Uh, and I met an empty barrel coming up while I was coming down. Uh, this accounts for my broken ankle. Uh, slowed only slightly, uh, I continued the descent uh, and ended up landing on the pile of bricks. Uh, this accounts for my sprained back and my broken collarbone. Uh, and at this point, uh, I lost the presence of my mind completely. Uh, and I let go of the rope. Uh, and the empty barrel uh, came down on me. Uh, this accounts for my head injuries. Uh, as for the last question on the form, uh, what would you do if the same situation arose again? Uh, please be advised, uh, I'm finished trying to do that job all alone. Uh, I want you to know you cannot make it through your life alone. Uh, you need a God on your side. Uh, you need a Savior. You need a deliverer. You need somebody you can call on. And I hear him say, call on me in the day of trouble and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things that you know not of. You don't have to go through this life alone or clap your hand and give my God some praise. Uh, you see, sometimes things are going so badly for us. Uh, we become almost immobilized because we can't anticipate the ultimate solution. Uh, we can't see how we'll ever get out of that tough situation we're in. Uh, and if you have come to here today with such feelings, uh, I'm here to tell you that God can change all that. Uh, you need only to say, Lord, uh, I can't do it alone. Uh, Lord, I open up myself uh, to your light, to your healing, to your help. Uh, I rely on you to show me the way. Uh, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. Uh, no other help I know. Uh, if thou withdraw thyself from me, oh, where, oh, where can I go? Uh, I've got to go from breakdown uh, to a breakthrough. Oh, clap your hand and give God some praise. Uh, if you say it and really mean it, uh, you can expect the power and the grace and the guidance of God to come to you. Uh, in your very lostness, uh, in your very brokenness, uh, you will experience God's love closing in on you. Uh, the Bible said in one passage, uh, they are like sheep without a shepherd. Uh, it's the way Jesus described the crowds uh, who were pressing in on him, uh, hoping to discover new meaning for their lives. Uh, now we are the sheep, uh, and we're radically dependent on the good shepherd. Uh, we need help in our search for new insights uh, into what the real meaning of life is. Uh, we need help if we're doing going to experience healing in our brokenness uh, of whatever nature it might be, uh, whether it be spiritual or emotional, psychological or physical. Uh, and so we echo the words of the psalmist's prayer. Uh, in my distress, uh, I cry to the Lord uh, that he may answer me. Uh, but in so doing, uh, we must remember that 
prayer is not cheap. Uh, prayer is expensive. Uh, when we ask God for help, uh, it is not as though we're in a position to shift all responsibility over to him. Uh, rather, we're asking him for help we need to do what we know we ought to do uh, to heal the brokenness in our body. Uh, God is not going to do what we ought to do. Uh, God will not do your part. Uh, and you cannot do God's part. Uh, but if you do your part, uh, I can guarantee God will do his. Uh, and that's why prayer is so expensive. Uh, let me illustrate quickly. Uh, a little girl had a problem. Uh, she was very much worried because her brother had built some traps uh, to catch some rabbits the next morning. Uh, the little girl loved rabbits uh, and didn't want any of them to be hurt or killed by getting caught in those nasty traps that her brother was making. Uh, in spite of her tearful pleas, uh, the little girl's brother refused to change his plans. Uh, nevertheless, uh, when she went to bed that night, uh, she no longer seemed concerned. Uh, much to her brother's surprise, uh, she closed her eyes in an attitude uh, of quiet confidence. Uh, and later she explained, uh, I prayed that God wouldn't let those cute little rabbits get caught in those cruel traps that my brother was making. Uh, and after I prayed, uh, I went outside and I broke them all up into a million pieces so I knew it wouldn't work. Uh, I want you to know in every miracle, uh, there's always two sides. Uh, the God works side uh, and the man works side. Uh, and if you do your part, uh, I can guarantee God will do his. If there's anybody that believes in a miracle, clap your hand and thank him for a miracle in advance. So we read in today's text uh, that Jesus took five barley loaves uh, and when he had said his grace before meals, uh, he miraculously distributed them so that more than 5,000 men, uh, not counting the women and children, had enough to eat and plenty left over. Uh, the story reminds us that every time we pray the Lord's Prayer, uh, we pray to God for bread. Uh, the word bread in this context uh, stands for all the basic necessities of life, uh, whether they be physical or spiritual. Uh, everything we need for our fulfillment as human beings. Uh, when we pray, give us this day uh, our daily bread. Uh, we're acknowledging our dependence on God uh, for all the help we need uh, to achieve the wholeness of life which he created. Uh, and we acknowledge our responsibilities uh, to use the gifts we receive from God uh, as he intended them to be used. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to pray for the poor uh, but it gets expensive to pray for the poor in a way that says help me Lord uh, to carry out my responsibility uh, to help the poor uh, with the gifts I've received from you uh, you see there are some of us who are not hurting very much at this moment uh, although sooner or later we may be needing in help uh, that's why they say don't put down anybody uh, because right now you may be doing well uh, hallelujah but also know uh, 
uh, that there may be a time that you need somebody to help you. Uh, don't put anybody down on your way up uh, because you may meet them on your way back down. Uh, understand if you will, uh, there are some who are hurting uh, very deeply at this moment. Uh, and part of being a true Christian family uh, is to help those who are hurting uh, to go an extra measure of strength uh, and support those who are in need. Uh, not give me this day my daily bread, uh, but give us uh, this day our daily bread uh, what is he saying we're in this together uh, Lord not don't just Lord help those poor people who are in distress uh, but Lord help me uh, to do all I can to help them uh, dear Lord I know there is much for me to do in your service uh, but please be advised uh, I'm finished trying to do the job by myself uh, but Lord if you help me uh, I can go from break down uh, to break through uh, I can have a ministry of loving others uh, I can pray and say the Lord is my shepherd uh, and I shall not want uh, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures uh, he leadeth me beside still waters uh, he restored my soul uh, yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil uh, for thou art with me uh, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me uh, thou preparest a table before me uh, in the presence of my enemies uh, my cup running over surely uh, I said surely uh, somebody help me say surely uh, goodness and mercy uh, shall follow me uh, all the days of my life uh, and I, 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 I uh, shall dwell uh, in the house of the Lord forever I know uh, he'll lead me in the path of righteousness uh, all I gotta do is follow him uh, I know goodness and mercy uh, is coming after me uh, all I gotta do is follow uh, for what faster than a speeding bullet uh, more powerful than a locomotive uh, able to leap tall problems at a single bound uh, look up in the sky uh, is it a bird uh, is it a plane uh, it's showing up not superman uh, it's prayer uh, prayer uh, changes things uh, for I heard them say in my people uh, which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray I can hear the devil talking to the demons say whatever you do don't make it so bad that they start praying cause if they pray it'll turn things around if they pray bodies will be healed if they pray God will raise the sick heal and deliver that's why he told us ask and it shall be given seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be open I love the song that says what a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear what a privilege it is to carry everything somebody help me say everything everything to God in prayer the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availing much if ye abide in me and my word abide in you you go from a breakdown to a breakthrough. Oh, clap your head up.
praise him. Understand that the promises of God are yea and amen. And I want to beg you, don't delay your praise. Don't give up on your worship. Don't give up on your prayer. No matter what you see, no matter what you feel, no matter what you heard, no matter what they told you, no matter who lied to you, no matter who ignored you, no matter who you feel, don't underestimate your praise. Don't underestimate your worship. Don't underestimate the power of the name of Jesus. Don't underestimate the power of the blood of Jesus. Don't underestimate your prayer. I wonder if anybody's in my amen corner. Even if I don't understand what's going on, I still praise him. Even if it don't make sense to me, I know he knows the way that I take. And after he's tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. Because I know weeping may endure for the night. But if I can hold on, if I can pray on, if I can believe on, joy will come in the morning. I'm going from breakdown to breakthrough. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Understand and I'm closing. I wanted to ask those that will take out a pencil and paper. I want to give you these seven steps quickly. But just imagine somebody put a million dollars in your checking account. Can anybody thank God for that? But you still be just as broke as you were before if you don't know how to withdraw it. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm trying to tell you God's got blessings, miracles, and deliverance in an account with your name on it. But if you don't know how to withdraw it, you're just as broke and miserable as you were without it. It's not that it's not there. It's you don't know how to access it. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. Y'all don't know it, but I'm preaching real good. I want to just give you these seven steps. I'm going to give you the scriptures. I'm not going to preach it. I'm just going to share it with you. Number one, decide what you need. Instead of praying in general, pray in detail. Decide what is it that you need. I'm going to give you a scripture for that. That's James 1, verse 6 through 8. Stop asking God to just bless me. If you took another breath, you're already blessed. Come on, somebody. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you need. Pray detail of what you need. Amen. There was a woman who prayed for God to give her a car that was both red and blue. And that's the way she would know that that's the car he wanted her to have. She went and she looked at her and she found this beautiful blue car. And she said to the seller, I, 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 it sure looks like what I've been praying for. But God, I prayed to God and I asked him to let it be red and blue. And uh, uh, I'm just seeing blue. And so I, I, this must not be it. He said, hold on a second. He, said, he opened up the trunk. I mean, not the trunk, the hood. And when he opened up the hood, they found out somebody had painted the engine red. <laughs> exactly what she asked is exactly what God gave. You've got to know what you need. Somebody say amen. Number two, find and read the scripture that promises what you need. That's James 1 and 8. If, he, if you're praying for healing, find the scripture that talks about healing. If you're praying for finances, find the scripture that talks about finance. If you're praying for a relationship, find the scripture that talks about relationship. Amen. Number three, ask God for the thing that you want. Ask him. Ask him for what you want.
You have not because you ask not. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm showing you that's the scripture, Matthew 7, verse 7 and 8. Matthew 7, verse 7 and 8. And then number four, believe that you received. Even though I don't have it in my possession, by faith I believe I receive it. Even though I don't feel it, by faith I believe I receive it. I'm going to show you the scripture for that. Mark 11, verse 23 and 24. I'm calling those things that are not as though they already are. Amen. Number five, and this is the war. This is the battle. Refuse to doubt. Refuse to doubt. That's James 4 and 7. Because if you doubt, you cancel it out. If you doubt, you cancel it out. You must fight the good fight of faith. I believe he's going to do it. Amen. It's not that God meets other people's needs and cares more about their needs than he does yours. You have to fight the fight of faith. Refuse to doubt. Amen. Number six, meditate on the promise. Just think about the promise. That's Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. So if your promise is praying for healing, uh, Joel Osteen's mother talks about how when she was sick, she would just get up. She had wrote all the healing scriptures on a card. And just like you do your prescriptions, she would get up every morning three times a day and would go over the healing scriptures and just meditate on God. This is what you said. God, this is what you said. They told her she would die in six months. That was 20 years ago. I want you to understand that God's word works. Can you say amen? God's word works. I'm trying to give you the seven steps to answered prayer. Then number seven, even before it happens, begin to give God praise for it. You don't have to wait till the battle's over. Start praising him right now. That's Philippians 4 and 6. Philippians 4 and 6. And hold on to that praise. Although the night may be dark, it won't be very long. The storm is passing over. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to say those for you all seven again real quick. And that is number one. Decide what you need. James 1, 6 through 8. Number two. Find and read the scripture that promises what you need. That's Joshua 1 and 8. Number three. Ask God for the thing that you want. That's Matthew 7. Verse 7 and 8. Number 4. Believe that you received it. That's Mark 11. Verse 23 and 24. Number 5. Refuse to doubt. That's James 4 and 7. Number 6. Meditate on the promise. That's Proverbs 4. 20 and 22. And then number 7. Give God praise that's philippians 4 and 6 don't and hold on to your praise don't underestimate your prayer and your praise somebody say amen let us pray father in the name of jesus we thank you for the privilege of preaching your word man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of god I pray, Lord God, for someone who is listening or watching, and I pray, Lord God, that you would, uh, someone who may be in the building right now, that you would move on their heart, move on their soul, let them know, Lord God, that you still do miracles. In Jesus' name we pray. The greatest miracle you can give is the miracle of salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. If you're here today, amen. And I just want those of you that will to say this prayer with me. Those of you who say, dear Jesus, I love you. I need you. I don't want to go through this life alone. I want to feel your presence in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you want a closer walk with God, those of you who are watching or listening, I want to encourage you to call our 24-hour prayer line number at area code 304-233-8899, and we will 
pray for you. But those of you who are in the audience right now, if you desire special prayer, I'm just going to ask you to stand where you've been sitting. Amen. And we will pray for good. God bless you. God, prayer knows no distance. God bless you. God bless you. I see you standing. God bless you. Someone else. God bless you. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, these that are standing right now, I pray a special prayer, Lord God, that you would move on their behalf, Lord. You know what they stand in the need of even before they ask. Satan has been trying to make them break down, but I intercede right now for a breakthrough. Lord God, give them a breakthrough in their family, a breakthrough in their finance, most of all, a breakthrough in their soul, Lord God, and turn it, turn it around. I feel a turnaround praise. A turn it around, Lord God. What the devil meant for evil is going to turn around for their good. We claim it right now, and we praise you in advance in Jesus' name. So I say, do it, Lord. Amen. Give God a praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. You may be seated. For those of you who are uh, watching or listening, we're getting ready to close, but we want you to know if you would like to give to this ministry, your support would be greatly appreciated. And you can give on the Greater Love International app or the Greater Love Ministry. Uh, dot org or Bethlehem Apostolic Temple dot org website. You can also give at Giveify at Bethlehem Temple or at Shiloh Apostolic Faith Assembly. Cash app at dollar sign DWC Ministries. PayPal at Greater Love Ministries. Tithely at Bethlehem Temple. E tithe at Bethlehem Temple. You can even text your offering at 304 451 9900. If it's your first time, text the word give. Or you can call at 304 233 8899 to leave your prayer request and to donate by credit or debit card. If no answer, leave a message. We will call you back. Or you can mail a check at Bethlehem Temple Post Office Box 6051, Wheeling, West Virginia, 26. 003 or Shiloh Apostolic Faith Assembly, Post Office Box 2941, Weirton, West Virginia, 26062. Until the next time, remember this, never forget it, don't you dare give up on religion until you've had a Pentecostal experience. Keep looking up. God loves you, and so do I. God bless you. Give God a hand praise, if you will. Sister Faith is going to come and lead us out in a song. God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me, never ever come short of his word. I've got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. I want to come with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I'll never turn back. God is, God is, God is, God is. God He promised to keep me, never to leave me, never ever come short of his word. I've got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way, keep my life clean every day. I want to come with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I never turn back. God.
God is my all and all. Give God a hand, praise. God bless you. Oh, you can do better than that. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to be dismissed. We want to thank those of you that come. I wish I could grab and hug every one of you. So glad to see your faces. And I just want to pray a prayer, protection of a prayer of deliverance over you and our benediction. I'm going to ask those of you that will, if you would stand as we're built ready to be dismissed. I want to let you know that all of our other services, our Bible class will remain virtual at this time until the June. I want those of you who are uh, having holidays to be safe on your holiday on tomorrow. Amen. And uh, please uh, know that we love you and we're so glad to see you. Uh, our uh, next s service will be on Wednesday and then on next Sunday will be Pentecost Sunday. Amen. 50 days after the Passover. Amen. And we're asking those of that, that can and will to just come a little bit earlier if you can as we just want to have a spend some time of prayer and praying for God to do something special on Pentecost Sunday. Let everybody say amen. Let everybody say amen. Let everybody say amen. 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 One more time. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sing it over. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you, Lord God, for your people, Lord God. And I pray right now that you put your angel protection around them. Keep them all hurt, harm, or danger. We pray the prayer of Psalms 91 over them. And Lord God, even as they celebrate this holiday and we give honor to those who have served in our military forces and gone on to their reward, we pray right now, Lord God, that you would bless each family, Lord God. Let your Shekinah glory reign on their behalf. In Jesus' name, help us depart this place, but never your presence. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you.